Hey guys, today on So Craftastic, I am going to customize another pair of shoes. But first, let's head to Walmart because clearly, I do not have enough Sharpies. We made it to Walmart. This happens to be the exact Walmart that Jojo Siwa filmed at a couple weeks ago. She posted a video on her channel while she was in Toledo. The Sharpies! Let's take a look at the things I bought from Walmart. You guys saw me pick these up, but these are two five packs of limited edition Sharpie colors. They are the extra fine point, so we can get really detailed on these shoes. This one over here is Electro Pop, so this has Optic Orange, Techno Blue, Nano Blue, Electric Pink, and Ultraviolet. And over here we have cosmic colors. Sadly, they don't have the color names listed. Not sure if I actually have any of these at home yet, so pretty excited. Speaking of excited, you guys saw my face when I found these. I don't know how it was such a surprise to me that there is a 32 pack of ultra fine Sharpies, but I know for a fact that I do not have this light blue color. It's kind of like this turquoisey Tiffany blue and that's my absolute favorite color. There's so many different purples, so many different pinks. I cannot wait to see how these look. And I have a little surprise for you guys. I'm giving away this pack to one of you. Yay! Just stay tuned to the end of this video to learn how you can enter the giveaway. I happen to come across this pack of permanent Crayola markers, so I figure in the next custom canvas shoe video, I will decorate with these, test them out, let you know how they work. That'll be something you guys can look forward to on this channel in the near future. And over in this bag, I happen to get one more pair of white canvas sneakers. These were $6 shoes, very, very affordable, and I will be decorating them either in this video or the next because I do have a pair my size as well. They only had eight to nine, so I figure when I do decorate these, I'll probably do a giveaway for them in the next video or something like that, in the next shoe video, not like the next, next video because that'll probably be a craft kit testing. Let's swatch these baby. <laughs> That's why you sit back on your chairs, ladies and gentlemen. So fresh. Now it's time to move on to the next phase, which is to create a design using every single color that I have in these Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers. What was that? Let's do it. charting the new sharpies but let's compare this chart to the sharpies that i already had and actually 
This one over here got a little sun faded, but that's okay because none of those are ultra fine points. So we're just going to focus on the Sharpies from the Ultimate Collection and the ones that I just purchased. As you can see, some of the colors are exactly the same or very, very similar, but I did get quite a few new ones in the Walmart sets, namely this beautiful turquoise that I cannot get enough of. It's so beautiful, will not ever stop talking about it. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, so gorgeous. Okay, now let's bring in the shoes and take out the laces. I decided that an abstract design would be the most fun for me with these shoes and all the different Sharpie colors. That way I have so much freedom and I'm able to relax by creating Zentangle doodles all over with polka dots, lines, squiggles, zigzags, and swirls. As I use each color, I am marking it on the chart with a star just to keep track of all the colors that I am using. I won't show this every single time on camera, but you can be sure that I'm going to use every single color on here aside from the black and grays. Technically, those aren't colors. We won't get into that. My vision is to create a kind of rainbow gradient, and I know I start my rainbow with yellow so often and it's supposed to be red, but there are no rules in art, so we're going to do it this way. That's just how I think it should be. I really like yellow at the very beginning. You saw that I used a ruler just to help me place the first shape because I am going to mirror these shoes. I want them to both look almost exactly the same, but they're going to be more so sisters than twins because it's just not possible to get them exact. If you look really closely at different angles, even the stitches aren't exact on them, so it's just not possible. Even making them look this similar was quite a challenge, but just from first glance and from a distance, you can't really tell. So I'm just hoping, you know, they're gonna be on two different feet, both on the outsides of the feet. So like the pattern's going to be on the right side of my right foot and the left side of my left foot. So no one's really going to be able to tell if I mess up. It's really not that big of a deal. See, they look almost exact, right? Right? Well, this is just the beginning. I have quite a few hours of designing left, so let's cue the music. I decided to go outside since it was a beautiful day. I sat under our umbrella at our patio table. But even then, it kind of got a little hot, so I decided to go back in and this time I'm sitting at the dining room table. We're getting into the very final colors. I'm ending with these greens here and a few random ones that were at the top of the chart. Now do keep in mind that some of these colors from the Ultimate Collection box versus the new ones that I got, some of them are exactly the same. You know how at the beginning I was like, oh my gosh, these uh, cosmic ones, I don't have any of them. I think I had all of them except maybe one. So the limited edition was kind of a joke. It's nice that you can just make art wherever you are with these and kind of transport them wherever you want to sit. You can watch TV while drawing. That's one of the greatest things about art is that you can multitask sometimes. Maybe put a show on that you've seen a hundred times already. Also, I tried to incorporate brown. Instant regret. I tried to erase the ink as much as I could by just blobbing yellow and light orange on there, but uh, I don't know if I ruined it with that. I tried to blend in as best as I could. Otherwise, I am so happy with the way that these shoes turned out. I love just everything about them. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section below. I actually have quite a few shoe designing videos on my channel. I'll link them in the description box below as well as in the iCard. And now for a couple orders of business. 
One, there was a giveaway in last week's video to win some wooden rings. I want to give more of you guys a chance to enter, so I'm going to announce those three winners in next week's video along with whoever wins these Sharpies. So many Sharpies. My Sharpies. Just kidding, I will share. Here you go. And how does one win these Sharpies, you ask? Well, you're gonna have to leave a comment on this video, pretty please. Say that you're entering and what your plans are for this weekend. And part two, go leave a comment over on the crayon shoes video telling me what I should decorate shoes with next. If it's the permanent Crayola markers, that's fine, but it could be a total different idea if you want, and that is how you enter. I promise all four winners for the rings and the markers will be announced next week. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.